Good morning, Selamat Pagi everybody. For the past week we have been wondering how we are going to get around Sulawesi, if there are any transport apps, if you know there might be buses or something like that. But it wasn't until one of you guys actually said to us to have a look on Facebook, in Facebook groups. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, we found a driver, he has a car, he has some time and he is going to drive us six hours east to Bira today. Let's have a look. And there's our new friend. Hagi! <laughs> Naomi! <laughs> so just before we left accommodation there, we had a little chat with a French tourist and he just came to Makassar from Bira and he said it took him with traffic seven hours. Now that is a uh, pretty crazy because Google Maps uh, says that it is supposed to take roughly around five hours so we are a little bit on edge I guess um, but this is amazing because thankfully because of you guys we had a question um, down in the comments telling us if we are, if we are gonna go to Bira and uh, I replied and I said yes we want to go there but we have no idea how to and we were told about going to Facebook and this is how we find we found our driver 500,000 ID or to get out to Bira which I think it works out considerably less than uh, applications like Grab, Traveloka it's a win-win situation I think for us for the driver and uh, for everybody involved and now we are slowly making our way out of Makassar city and we're beginning the real Sulawesi adventure I want to say because after Makassar I, I believe Sulawesi is not uh, super developed so the roads are gonna get pretty hectic from what the French guy said as well yeah. once we leave Bira. Just want to make you guys aware as well I was talking to the French guy in the hotel there and uh, he actually said that he paid 800,000 for the journey so depending on who um, you choose what type of a service, what type of a car they have and so on um, depending on the individual variants basically it is a different price so he paid 800,000 we paid 500,000 so I believe somewhere in that range is totally fine and uh, as Luke said it's like somewhere between five to seven hours he needed seven because he said that like the last 80 kilometers before coming into Makassar was basically a standstill traffic jam so it took them a very very long time but he said Bira is very nice and a very little tourist like nearly nobody out there so we're really looking forward to just having a few days in nature uh, at the ocean and just relax and go snorkeling and so on this is gonna be absolutely fantastic before hitting the road just to see if we can buy a few snacks here at this very traditional looking shop and I don't actually know what the different snacks are no idea what this is or what this is but uh, yeah why don't we just buy a few random snacks to try out basically so we managed to find a few bits and pieces uh, this these ones here I believe are traditional ginger uh, cookies and then we also got a few sort of, uh, I don't know, chocolate snacks, chocolate rolls or something like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to be on the road for a while, so why not buy some snacks? Another quick pit stop and we're about a hundred kilometers away from Bira now and uh, it's very interesting to actually see how fast the environment here in Sulawesi is changing. We saw a lot of 
salt farms on the way for example and uh, what I find extremely interesting is remember when we were in Jakarta we were at Taman Mini Indonesia Inda TMII and um, we were looking at the different houses there and uh, among other islands we also were looking at the houses of Sulawesi and right now we are basically in Sulawesi and we're actually seeing the houses that we saw in a I don't know in a fake environment let's say it like that before uh, where the, all of the stilt houses are here they're very colorful they have very interesting roofing and so on so it's really really cool to actually be able and admire these houses in person we after around five hours in the car made our way to Bira and wow this place is absolutely mind-blowing to be honest the room nothing special it's just the location i think that is the selling point of where we are uh, we have uh, an ocean view room which i'll show you guys now in a sec the room itself i'll give you a quick tour so we have literally a mattress on the floor um seems to be like a comfortable double mattress so that's not too bad we also have an AC, which is great because, wow, it's very hot. We have the sink outside of the bathroom, which is something we started seeing when we came to Indonesia. And I think Sri Lanka as well, is sometimes you'll see this. They just separate the sink outside so you can wash yourself, do whatever you need to do here. Wash your face, whatever. And then you have the shower, super basic, with a bucket as well, and then a bum gun. And then you also have obviously the toilet and that's basically it. Now I just used the toilet and <laughs> can you can you see what is missing? Yeah. There's no flushing mechanism so you have to work with a uh, with a bucket here. Yeah, you just basically got to <laughs> you got to smash it down basically. <laughs> I was a little I was really confused when I used the toilet. I was like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> But yeah, let's show you guys outside because yeah. outside is the real special event. Look at this. This is the main attraction. Wow. So directly down here, if you walk down, we have a beach that belongs to this guest house. Or, well, I, I believe it belongs to the village, but we have direct access to it. It's not like a private beach, I believe. And you have a absolutely stunning view out onto the Flores Sea and now inside our room we don't have any Wi-Fi but uh, down there they have a restaurant and cafe area that's where we have the Wi-Fi so that's where we're gonna be spending <laughs> hours on end trying to upload videos yep. but that's gonna be totally fine um, the owner of the guest house just came and asked if we wanted to rent a scooter we agreed so for the next two days we will be having a scooter around here and uh, yeah I cannot wait I'm so so excited uh, we already read so many articles about marine life and so on so we're gonna go snorkeling for sure and uh, try and see what you can actually experience here i'm so so excited i don't know we have been in asia for what over a year yep. oh no not over a year in october i think it's going to be a year and uh, we haven't seen the beach since january of this year so that's true <laughs> when you think of southeast asia you're like beach everywhere it's the beach life but no we haven't seen any beaches really <laughs> <laughs> this is the view guys so just take it in this is Wow, very, very special. So just over here in the distance is, I believe, Tanjung Bira. And also over here in the distance, you have another popular beach, which I think is called Barra Beach. And this here is our little beach, which uh, I think it's the only access point, as Naomi said, to this particular beach. It kind of goes down a stairway into that gorgeous looking area there and we have done absolutely nothing since we arrived we just checked into the room and um yeah i think we're very very happy here there is nobody and i mean nobody in terms of tourists we had to actually pay an entry fee to get in here uh, which is a once-off payment of around 41,000 idr 
per person and I'm not too sure why that is it's probably just for sort of upkeep and stuff like that but it is a once-off fee so don't worry you don't have to pay multiple times which we're very grateful for we don't want to have to pay every time we come in and out but um, yeah I think we're gonna be spending quite some time exploring this area this is exactly our favorite type of place it is a place with no tourists no hustle and bustle just beautiful beautiful nature and a big blue ocean as well i'm in desperate need of some caffeine so i think we're gonna go down and check out the restaurant see what they have to offer and definitely yeah, drink a coffee <laughs> we need some coffee for sure it's been a long day already So we just walked down to the cafe and uh, restaurant part, if you will, and you have a beautiful view onto the beach from here. Check this out. Wow, how magnificent is that? Absolutely white beach. There's nobody around. We're legitimately the only people. Oh, there's another family there having food, but I mean in terms of beach, like it's a very empty beach. And uh, yeah, the water looks crystal clear i cannot wait to go snorkeling here so beautiful very very grateful to have a fresh cup of black coffee and um taking in the view right now and uh, there's a couple of different things that i think we're gonna we're gonna do here over the next few days so we have rented a bike so that's really amazing it gives us access to everywhere we just got the key and we got some helmets as well I'm not too sure if I'm gonna fit into the helmet because I have a giant head but um, have a look here so look at my head and then look at this I don't know it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze but we have the bikes which gives us freedom there is also the possibility to go diving with an instructor apparently a French guy owns a dive place just next door to here so that's also a fantastic option and there is also an island that we can go to which is around 400,000 uh, both ways and apparently you can see some turtles and it's apparently a very beautiful island so those are a couple of things that we're thinking about and um, we're just very happy I think to be to be away from the big cities and um, yeah it's very very peaceful here very tranquil tranquil and i think we're gonna be probably permanently extending our stay <laughs> here uh, for the foreseeable future i'm already looking at houses in the area <laughs> yeah <laughs> i would move here immediately yeah it's really beautiful and um, the water looks incredibly clean as well um no trash on the some, beach also. yeah some, sometimes um, Southeast Asia gets a bad reputation because of things like litter and garbage and stuff like that. But here it's pristine, like very, very beautiful and um, no complaints at all so far. <coughs> Cheers. Also the Wi-Fi that we have is better than the Wi-Fi that we had in Makassar, which makes no sense, but really, really good as well. So it's a win-win all around. Now, let's bring you guys down to the beach. We're all caffeinated and uh, the caffeine definitely woke us up and made us very excited to go down and check out this beach. Let's do it. Looks absolutely stunning from here. So just have a look at what we're looking at right now. The stairs are huge. <laughs> Big stairs. It's nearly the height of my knee just for one stair. <laughs> <laughs> one step. One step, baby. Do a little bit of a water test for the temperature and it's as warm as a bathtub <laughs> i thought it was going to be like refreshing or cool but no it's really warm so uh yeah there's no hurdle for you to go into the water at all it's just like the same temperature as outside <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> crazy it's, the water is actually really it's nice it's nice and warm but uh that's true it's not it's not gonna be very refreshing um but that's no problem i think we're gonna really enjoy swimming in this over the next however many days we've no real we don't really have a plan as to how long we're actually gonna stay here 
because the transport system in Sulawesi is a little bit complicated because the development of Sulawesi is sort of all over the place. So the roads don't really connect a lot of places. You have to go off road uh, quite a bit if you want to go towards the north, which is where we're going to head after Bira, I think. No idea. But I think we're going to spend a minimum of around two or three nights here and then we'll see where the wind takes us basically. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but just over there in the distance is the island that this uh, guy was talking about in our guest house. And as I was saying, we can take a boat over there. It looks really uh, sort of just detached and remote from everything. Bira is already pretty remote, so I can't imagine yeah. how remote that is. It's like the remotest place of the remote places, basically. Yeah. Uh, but there are loads of like little islands dotted around here so yeah maybe we can talk to some locals and figure out maybe we can like get onto a fishing boat or something that's usually our plan uh, go fishing with some locals maybe or i don't know see if they can bring us over there for a small amount of money or just take the big transport for 400,000. it's also not not the world in terms of money but uh, yeah this is absolutely stunning it is really really i'm in shock amazing we literally kind of stumbled onto a hidden paradise I think here because some people were telling us that not many people come here and by not many people they literally said like not even a lot of Indonesians will visit this part of Sulawesi even Sulawesi in general it seems to be an island that is very much off the beaten path off the off the uh, general tourist trail we're seeing so few other uh, boules around here as well and um, it just makes the whole experience more interesting I think because we get to give you guys a little bit of an insight into what it's like but so far very very impressed and I just realized that we can literally walk the full length of this beach it looks to be maybe around five kilometers or something stretching all the way down so that's gonna be yeah. amazing morning walk morning walk it also reminds me a little bit, I don't know if you remember maybe the scene of Jurassic Park when they arrive onto the island. Mm -hmm. This is sort of what it reminds me of, just like a very, very long empty sand beach with like thick forest attached to it and some cliffs. So yeah, this is just, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm smiling like from here to there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So guys, this is a quick little look at our motorbike as well. Figured we would show you guys our whip. We're going to be using this thing to get around. Both of us are going to be on one little bike. It's not going to be easy. I'm very heavy. Naomi is also very tall. Uh, so gonna be lugging us around here for a few days but I think it should be totally fine there's also a restaurant next door so plan for us now is to grab our laptops hook up to the Wi-Fi start working on this video to upload it and show you guys exactly where we are and then we're gonna head to the restaurant maybe try some seafood because we're literally directly the beautiful ocean here we love it here it's amazing <laughs> 